I'm Ben, I'm the CEO and founder of Pinterest. I know how busy you are, so thank you for being here. Pinterest is where people go to inspire their future. More than 450 million people all over the world use Pinterest to plan every single month. 100 million in the US alone. They're planning big stuff. People saved 11 billion wedding and travel pins last year, 16 billion home decor pins, and they're planning small stuff too. Here in the US, 3 million people search for a new banana bread recipe, and the same number search for new tattoo ideas. Pinterest is where people go to make decisions about what to do next, and we're proud of that. If social networks are for connecting with other people, Pinterest, it's about connecting with yourself, visualizing new possibilities for your own life. Every day, we think about how to create the environment that's good for that future mindset an environment where you feel comfortable to focus on yourself. And that's not just about adding new pixels and new features. It's also about what you don't see on Pinterest. Pinterest is not the place to read the news or debate politics with your in-laws or compare yourself to others. It's a positive place to be inspired. That's reflected in our content, in our ad policies, and most importantly, it's reflected in the day-to-day -day experiences of the people who use our platform. More than 95% of pinners say it's a place that inspires them. And all of you have an important role to play in that. After all, ads have always been about inspiring the future. I talked to lots of CMOs, and when I asked them why they went into marketing in the first place, they don't say it was to bid on their own keywords. Nobody said they dreamed of a day when they could retarget consumers everywhere they go on the internet. They say they became CMOs because they love inspiring people with storytelling. The best ads, the best marketing in the world is about showing people what's possible. And that's what Pinterest is for too. Today, we have a rich new canvas that you can use to help people act on the future. I wanna introduce you to story pins. Story pins on Pinterest are different from stories on other platforms. They're less about what someone else did they're more about what you could do. They're good ideas now, and they're good ideas in the future because unlike stories on other platforms, they never disappear. And they don't just show up for followers, they show up for anybody looking for an idea like yours. Stories walk you through, step by step, what you need to do to get that home decorated, or that dinner made, or that to-do list done. And like the rest of Pinterest, brands on story pins they're gonna fit right in. Creators are already using them to inspire people to go do and buy and act, but they need you. And soon, you'll be able to sponsor story pins. And you, your business, your service, your brand, will be the next thing that a creator tries, introducing your business to a whole new audience on Pinterest. For example, this past holiday season, IKEA partnered with five Pinterest creators to share a spin on holiday decorating. This story pin gave people creative ideas for bringing cheer into their home at a time they really needed it. And as an advertiser, there are lots of places where you can spend your energy, so why not spend it where people are already going to plan? On Pinterest, you're reaching them before they know your brand name and type it into a search engine, before they visit your website and trigger retargeting, before your competition, at the moment of inspiration. On behalf of everyone here at Pinterest, we hope you find today valuable, and we hope you consider Pinterest for your future plans. Enjoy today, and thank you again for being here. Hello. Bonjour. Hello. Hey, I'm Muko from London in the United Kingdom. I'm Sunny Akimi, and I'm from Dallas, Texas. My name is Tasha Banks, and I'm from Birmingham, Alabama, and I came to tell you what I love about Pinterest. I, Pinterest, every single day. I'm a pinna. <laughs> That's the one. Pinterest for me is inspiration. DIY tips or financial tips or life in general or decorating. If there is something I can plan for, I have a Pinterest board to help me. If I pin it, you know, it will come, it will happen. It's a manifestation. With Pinterest, I'm the chef de cuisine, guide touristic to Bali, calligraphy. So many unique ideas and styles and things to do and even ways to do things. I didn't even think about some of the uses that an air fryer has until I looked it up on Pinterest. Without you guys, 
without Pinterest, my life would be chaotic. I really don't know where I would be um, in regards to teaching ideas if I didn't have Pinterest. Sans Pinterest, j'aurais vraiment pas survécu les confinements. I recently started sewing over quarantine and it's really inspired me to start delving into the world of sustainability and sustainable fashion. This year, it's helped me come into my transness by giving me models, literal and figurative, for the type of body and life I wanted to manifest. Grâce à Pinterest, j'ai pu découvrir et élargir ma façon de m'habiller aussi. Um, Ideen einzusammeln hätte wahrscheinlich durch viel mehr Blogs und Webseiten durchstoppen müssen, um die gleiche coole Ideen zu finden. Without Pinterest, I wouldn't have been able to really put together an inspired engagement ring design to my now wife and she did say yes so thank you pinterest pinterest is like your fun experienced pal that you can call when you're feeling afraid to take on a new idea and they're like listen don't worry you got this and i want to say thank you for making one of the only pieces of technology i can honestly makes me a better human i feel like i can really express myself on this platform and i'm thankful for that Merci Pinterest. Merci beaucoup Pinterest. Et s'il te plaît, continue à être avec nous. C'est 2021. Pinterest helps me not only to keep dreaming, but Pinterest makes those dreams attainable. So I love it. Thank you.